another episode of Haunts R Us, the podcast that's haunted on Maine. My name's Chief, and I'm the host of this podcast. Today, I'm joined by some new co-hosts. How does that sound? See? I've made new friends. Uh, you guys, let the audience know what your voice sounds like. Squishy, go first. Oh. <laughs> hi, my name is Squishy. And hi, my name is Evie. Happy to be here. Yes. What up, gamers? And then we got our usual. <laughs> what up, gamers? <laughs> and then we got our our usuals. You know them, Thoughty and Gato. Yeah, yeah. We're back, baby. Yeah, yeah. We're still here. Yeah. Still queer. Hell yeah. Get so used to you it. guys, you guys ever noticed how like I've been using this podcast to like trauma dump about being Catholic? <laughs> For like a while. <laughs> you guys ever notice that every now and again I'll talk about being like weird and Catholic? <laughs> every now and again. That's right, baby. It's the Catholic episode, you guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All the Catholic drama condensed into one episode, so you don't have to listen to all of them. <laughs> the remix. My name's Cheeb. I'm Catholic. What about you guys? Uh, I'm Evie and I am suffering from Catholicism. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Catholic. <laughs> Catholic. This is the Catholic. The CC meeting. The CC meeting. <laughs> <laughs> the Catholics Canonymous. <laughs> Caught Catholic. I, I'm squishy. I'm Catholic no longer, but it still lurks in the background, and I have the guilt. Of having it around me. Oh. <laughs> the guilt. Yeah, yeah, the guilt. It's still there. I still have my rosarios around me. And, you know, I can't throw them away. <laughs> They're just there. <laughs> They're really pretty. And I'm just like, I can't let you go. <laughs> You're wearing them in your goth outfits, dude. They're, yeah. they're sick. Yeah, they're really pretty. I get them as gifts. <laughs> Gato. Gato. Oh. 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 Yeah. oh. Are you Catholic? <laughs> um... I mean, I used to, like, when I was young, and now I'm, like, I'm, 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 I'm nothing. Agnostic, I think? Uh, probably. Or are you an atheist? Uh, it's, Maybe. it's the same thing, no? Right. Uh, I think agnostic no, it's not is the acknowledging thing. that there oh. may or may not be a higher power. I don't fucking know. Dude. No, yeah, you're right. Yeah. The agnostic is like, oh, no. Atheist is like, No. 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 <laughs> uh, then I guess I'm Aggie because I don't know. Oh man, you Aggie. We're like I'm Aggie, super aggro. am I right? A. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, don't cry. God damn. I'm gonna cry. I'm fine. What the fuck? Oh no, shut down the podcast. Oh no, cut, those cut the camera. <laughs> no. I'm gonna go on a walk. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. We're all recovering Catholics. Yeah. We're all recovering yeah. Catholics. Sorry, it's my first CC meeting. Yeah. <laughs> Join us what here. Thoughty, what's your what's your relationship with Catholicism? Oh, I am not currently, nor have I ever been Catholic. However, all of my friends have been Catholic, so I know what's up. That's, I've that's had us. to sneak out many a ladies from from the house. Hell yeah! So we can go party. I've had to I've had to uh, tell parents that we're gonna go to Farmer Boys to many a twenty six year old lady. Hmm. Jesus, yeah. yeah, that's weird because. Cause like Catholics, Catholics are really big on drinking. Like we were the only people that were like exempt from prohibition. Cause he had like the whole wine, and then like priests went wild with that shit. I mean, yeah, it's like yeah, you can drink, but like not outside, not where people can see you, not with your <laughs> not friends. People. What time is it? It is eight o'clock, young lady. You whore. You better get the fuck inside. <laughs> you whore. Yeah. <laughs> you that's whore, true, dude. Dude, I listen. I don't want to like call anyone out. Just in case maybe she finds this, but like I had a friend, she was two years older than me. Like I said, I had to tell <laughs> we had to be like, oh, we're going to Farmer Boys, and they're like, mm, I don't know how I feel about that. It's like, ma'am, sh she's twenty six and paying bills and has a job. Can we please like literally go to Farmer Boys, please? What's Farmer Boys? It's a fast food place. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. There was the only thing in Eastvale. <laughs> Remember when I was telling you about the uh, the haunted house? It's in Eastvale. Mm-hmm. And in Eastvale, there is a, there is a, an Italian restaurant and a farmer's boys. And that's it. <laughs> Nice. Didn't yeah. we? Wasn't, didn't we have like a whole conversation about how you didn't have a Carl's Jr. or some shit? Didn't have a Carl's Jr. You guys didn't no, have didn't have a Burger Jr. King. You guys don't have a Burger King. <laughs> well, I have a Burger King now. I live in LA. Nice. But back in the day, okay. it was only Carl's Jr. <laughs> Put him in. Uh, yeah. How many of you guys went to Sunday school? I did. I did. Yeah. Oh, I went once. I did. You went to Sunday school once? Yeah. I was Christian and I just like, I don't know why. My mom like gets in moods. So like one week she was like, yeah, let's go to church. And we went to church and I went to Sunday school. And then that was it. <laughs> and then I never went again. So you're a Sunday nice. school dropout? Yeah. <laughs> you're a Sunday school dropout, bro. <laughs> the only nice. thing I know was, the, was that one episode of Veggie Tales we watched. <laughs> Dude, that's great. Dude, nice. Everything I know is from Veggie Tales. Nice. But yeah. Evie Gato, did you guys go to Sunday school? <laughs> I did. But it was on a Monday. I went to Saturday oh. school. Saturday school? Yeah, I had mine on Saturday too because I had to go to church on yeah, Sunday. Yeah, same. I also had mine on Saturday. That's rude. I just know that's what the what's this, the white folk call it is Sunday school. So I just call yeah, it Sunday. I see. Yeah. yeah, I remember the first day of Sunday school. They let us play in the playground. And I was just like, oh, this is sick. We get to play in the playground and then go to school. And they never fucking let us play in the playground again, dude. What the <laughs> fuck was up with that? Much like Catholicism in general, they lured you in with the fun, and then had you stay for the guilt. <laughs> Yeah. For real, dude. They're like, look, you can go to heaven. But not if you do this. For a price. <laughs> or this. Or this. Or anything fun. Are you proud of yourself? Disgusting. No, I don't know if, like, they've rebooted since, because Catholicism has a tendency to just, like, fucking reboot itself. That's a discussion <laughs> for another day. Anyways, you could tell your parents that you're listening to your Christian podcast, because they're literally talking about it. <laughs> It's like, no, Grandma, it's fine. Hot Star is a Christian podcast. They're talking about Sunday school. <laughs> and we are in this bullshit. And they never let us play in the playground again. It was new. <laughs> it was a new playground. They didn't let us play with play in it. How dare. It's fucking suck, dude. Mine yeah. didn't have a playground. I'm so pissed about it to this day, dude. I'm <laughs> yeah, 30. I was about to say, like, we had a playground, but we were never allowed to play it. I know, I know right? So is it just the thing with Sunday school? <laughs> I'm like, wow, thanks. Mm-mm-mm. It was this big mm. thing of like no fun allowed after you were in. Mm-hmm. I remember right. it was like, here, color this picture of Jesus on the cross. And I'm like, this is fun. And then the next day it's like, you're playing patty cake with your classmate. Uh, sin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You're touching Dude, each other. I remember. I remember this one time because we weren't we didn't have a fucking recess and I have no idea this is like now that I've worked in childcare I'm just like what kind of fucking what kind of what's the word I'm looking for what kind of like shit show is this that you don't like kids play in the playground and get their energy out so they could like (laughs) sit down and listen for a second. But I remember, like, we were, like, waiting in line to get in the classroom when I was, like, doing anime poses with my friends. And then, like, the lady was just like, don't do that. Only demons do that. Only demons do anime poses. If you do that, you go to hell. And it's like, shit, man. (laughs) And I stopped doing it. But I'm just like, what the fuck was the point of that? Bro, if she were to tell me, like, stop doing that, anime gives you depression, at least she would have been right, dude. <laughs> it's not like you're gonna go to hell. What Jesus. the fuck was that? <laughs> I feel like that's that's the equivalent of, like, telling uh, ye old children that, like, werewolves and stuff are gonna get them if they don't behave. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, like they waved that a lot in front of us. They were just like, "Don't do that. Only demons do that." Or like, "If you do that, you go to hell." And I was just like, "Now that I'm older, I'm just like, they were just trying to like gain control of the children 
but there's better ways of doing that, like letting children play in the playground for 30 <laughs> to 20 minutes to let their energy out, no. so that way they could sit still. No, but having them like you is too difficult. You could just scare them. <sighs> it sucks, because the thing about, like, taking care of kids is, like, they'll just automatically like you on instinct. <laughs> yeah. Kids are stupid. Yeah, dude, I fucking hated Sunday school. There was one point where it's, like, the day before, my parents went to the... Back when we, we went to, like, this mom-and-pop rental store, I think they rented out, like, the new Austin Powers and, like, another comedy movie. And, like, I was so excited to watch it, but I had to go to Sunday school. So while, like, the, while I was in, like, the classroom on the desk, I started crying because I didn't want to be there because I wanted <laughs> to watch Austin Powers at home. <laughs> <laughs> How long were you in the so Sunday school, though? I did the whole thing. I did the I did the confirmation and the first communion, dude. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. Oh, I don't rem- I didn't do my confirmation. I just got to my first <clears throat> communion. Yeah, it used to be that you could do your confirmation when you were a baby, but then they changed the rules so that way you had to be like at least 16 to get your confirmation cuz like then you'll kind of know what it's about. Yeah. But I mean, I don't fucking <laughs> yeah, care. Yeah, cuz I did my first I don't communion. even know what confirmation is. Yeah. <laughs> I just know that I've done it, and I have, like, a little certificate that I showed to the priest when I was trying to get married, and they were just like, it takes three months to get married by the church, and I'm just like, this is bullshit. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Oh, yeah. My sister's getting married, and she, like, I don't know if she did it on purpose, (laughs) or I don't know if she wanted to, but she's uh, converting to Catholicism right now, and it sounds like a pain in the ass. Yeah. If you ask me, you gotta do a lot of things. Yeah, for what? To believe in Jesus? To be guilty? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I thought you gotta I was... take this three. Co- you gotta take three courses on being guilty, guys. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta take courses on original sin. <laughs> yeah. Original my sin. Room. Yeah, dude. OC sin. What? The OG sin, bro. That's like the sin from like Adam and Eve oh, or whatever. I, I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they were just like. <clears throat> like everyone has original sin you're all guilty uh jesus died because of you and you're just like dang no one asked him to do that yeah i'm thinking <laughs> that exactly manipulating i'm like okay but no one said anything bro exactly no one told you to do that <laughs> stop manipulating me stop gaslighting me girl boss <laughs> girl boss yeah, jesus dude. girl boss jesus that's did you guys do your first communions i did my first communion i did not do confirmation and my mom is still kind of pissed at me about that because i guess (laughs) it's like you're supposed to do that in order to get married or something like that by the church yeah yeah (laughs) so So like hey mom guess what (laughs) <laughs> exactly. I'm like, have you seen me? They don't they go take me in. <laughs> Point. Mom, like, the thing that's funny about your mom is just like she doesn't care that you're gay. You just need to get married. It's like, where your girlfriend? And she's like, she's gay. It's like, dang, nobody want you for real. <laughs> exactly. We're girlfriend. Exactly. You want me to get married by the church, and it's like you have to get the confirmation and like um. Yeah, I don't know. We just, like, stopped attending church regularly because she actually, like, wanted to spend time on Sundays, like, at home and stuff. <laughs> so we were like, oh, that's cool. Like, no more Saturday school. Yay. Thanks, Mom. Right? Yeah. yeah. I mean... Can you get gay married by the church? I'm sure you can. I think certain but Christian churches, but I don't know. I know Christian happened. churches will do it. Yeah, but I'm not Christian. Yeah, we're we're the, the cool, hip happening... No, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> we're the wine sipping Catholics. How does she think you're gonna get married then? She's I don't know. That's why. Mom, <laughs> <thinks>. <laughs> bro, she bro, just believes in marry it. you, dude. Yeah, she's just believing. She just believes. She has now. faith. <laughs> yeah, she's just yeah. like, well, you'll, you'll, you'll one day, one the day. church, right? I'm like, oh, one I day guess. it'll happen. Yeah, okay. Evie can do it, dude. She's an ordained minister. Minis- ordained minister. Yeah. Oh snap. I can do it, and I can marry you under any religion, thanks to the church. Oh my God, the, my God she's yeah. doing the Lord's work. She is. Yeah, you're going to heaven. 
Yeah, what was it like becoming a minister, dude? Uh, it was a long process. Um, I first Googled how to be an ordained minister, and they were just like, hey, type your name here. And I did it. <laughs> and they just said, congrats, you can marry. And I'm like, thank you. Thank you. And it was just honestly, like everything with like the church, money talks. So you just have to pay for your certificate, comes in, and boom. You can you can legally marry people. That's so cool. Yeah, dude, it's that easy, man. And then like the Catholic Church is just like you have to go through our six month course to get married. And I'm just like, ah. <laughs> none of that, please. Do you did you have to like go to like uh, couples therapy before you got married? <laughs> yeah, therapy. they make you go to like couples what the therapy fuck and is that? shit. And the thing is. Uh, I'm not taking advice from, like, some guy that's been single all his life Literally. and can't marry anyone and doesn't know anything about marriage life. I'm not talking to a fucking... I'm not getting advice from a fucking virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Basically, yeah. You want to give me advice about sex and love? Get out of here. Yeah, it was yeah, weird. I, like, weird. accidentally sat in on one of my, uh, my sister's, like, <laughs> fucking couples therapy. Because <laughs> I got really high the night before, and I stayed the night, and they had the couples therapy in the morning, and it was online. <laughs> and they were in the kitchen table just talking about their fucking hopes and dreams. <laughs> oh I was God. like, oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Too much emotions so happening. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Oh man, <laughs> I would have cried. <laughs> I was like, Jesus. Bro. It's really funny though. I remember um, one of my friends took me to like her Christian church. And like what they did is like they separated the adults from the teenagers. And they had what essentially was like group therapy. And everyone had to like sit in a circle and like tell their problems or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then like when it was my turn, I was just like, I'm not telling these people fucking anything about my life. So she's like, no, my life's great. You guys are losers. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if you're if you're sad, that's your problem. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I'm a. Uh, I do not like group therapy. I don't think that's like. A, I don't know. You don't think that works? I don't for like you? it. Like, why am I gonna be? Who are these people? <laughs> <laughs> that's actually a huge part of why confessions are now private. It used to mm -hmm. be out in the open, but then disgusting. Ev yeah, everyone would just be like, "Hey." There's some sweet tea happening at the church. Let's go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so the Catholic Church decided to do private ones so people wouldn't be ashamed. But like, the whole thing about Catholicism is like, you better be ashamed, or else. <laughs> oh, dude, for real. When I did my first communion, I cried. <laughs> I don't even fucking remember what I was what I was so guilty about. I was like, I hit my brother. <laughs> and, um, and ever since, like, my mom said, like, you've never done another confession since. And I was like, what the fuck do I have to confess about? I'm an adult. I haven't murdered anyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Committing tax evasion <laughs> priest. <laughs> <laughs> I had sex before marriage. Like, oh, no. Oh, no. I As it should be. Uh oh no <laughs> like what am i gonna tell them like i'm just gonna sit there and be like well you know i don't know i guess like last saturday i like jerked off or something I do you think know. anyone is actually like get, gets like really 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 deep into uh uh details he's like yeah sorry i gave that sloppy toppy last week probably <laughs> maybe because you know like it manipulates you to the point where you're just like okay i'm gonna confess everything get it all off my chest and you're just like Telling the priest everything, and he's just like, "Damn, bitch, okay." That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he's on his phone when it's happening. You're oh like, God. "Yeah, because he he's can't like see them, crush. so they're probably just on their phone, just like oh, fucking whatever." Dude. Can you like genuinely not see them? Because in the movies, you can like totally see them. Uh, when I did my first communion, like it was just what it was. It was like. We were at the church, and then there was, like, the three or four priests there, and you're just, like, supposed to line up and wait for your turn. They'll, like, call you up, and then and then you tell them your sins, and then, like, you cried because you were a child, and, like, they made you feel weird and guilty about it. <laughs> <laughs> made you feel yeah. weird. Definitely yeah, weird. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's how it was with me, too. 
we went up to like mm-hmm. where the the front of the seats were and we just sat like facing them <laughs> and i felt so bad because I used I to be know. a bully to my brother, <laughs> and he was a bully to me too. <laughs> we just bullied each other, and I was like, "Wow, oh, so I was just much. really mean to my brother." And it's like, "Well, now you know not to be mean to him." And I beat up my brother when I go. Home. <laughs> 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 like I was so ashamed. I beat him up. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> but as long as you feel bad about it, you're yeah, fine. yeah, <laughs> but yeah, like you cry. Cause you're telling a total yeah, stranger, you cry. like you, yeah. your stuff. I mean, they're judging you, they're bro. They're judging your yeah. child. I mean, they're not, cause they're like full grown men. They're gonna tell Jesus, and they probably like. But what if they're they gonna tell Jesus? They're, like, <laughs> they're gonna, <laughs> they're gonna <laughs> write you down on the naughty list. <laughs> on the naughty list. <laughs> Jesus is naughty list. No. This bitch is going to hell. <laughs> she going to hell. <laughs> on the Zoom call oh meeting God. with Jesus, they're gonna get you. They're gonna be like, look. J-Man, I have some tea. <laughs> this little girl, <laughs> bully. And then it's like, put her down. <laughs> put her down. <laughs> Take her out. That's very, like... Am I the only one that, like, didn't cry? I didn't cry. What did you oh, tell I've never the, cried before in my life. Guy. I never cried before either. I mean, I sat in front of a lady, and, like, she was like, so what have you done? And I'm like... Yeah, I was, like, maybe, like, in second or third grade, I was still a kid, so, like, I didn't, I don't know, I was just a quiet kid, like, what am I supposed mm-hmm. to do? So I just, like, made some shit up, like, oh, yeah, I kicked a girl in soccer, and she's like, okay, <laughs> just don't do that again, sweetie, and I'm like, okay. You made something up, isn't that a sin? <laughs> you were very funny later on, you and I was lied. like, oh, no, I'm a liar. <laughs> you committed sin during confession, Dude, bro. You're going to hell. <laughs> you might as, Point and laugh at her. might as well already tell her right then, and they're like, oh, yeah, that thing I told you before, that was, that was a lie. That was a lie. <laughs> that was a lie. That was a lie. <laughs> I'll see you guys in hell. Yeah. <laughs> I, I did mine, like, around my fifth grade year. Mm-hmm. Like in elementary school, so I was I was probably really hormonal, so I was that's why I was probably crying, right in front of them, just bawling. It was just the hormones. Yeah, hormones. <laughs> you know, you know how they be. Yeah. Hormones. Yeah. You know the trauma just, as well. Yeah, and that too. Yeah, I think my mom. <laughs> my mom was forcing me to do it. She's like, "You got to do <laughs> it. I want it grandkids." So traumatizing. No, yeah, it was for me. Yeah. It was that. I did thing. it around fourth grade. Oh, I'm sorry. What was oh, that? Sorry, I was. I was talking about how like i relate to gato too because mm-hmm. like you're a young kid like what are your sins like i punched my brother like am i a bad person <laughs> like according to the I church i'm going to hell um, yeah <laughs> or, or yeah like oh i stole a piece of candy like arrest me officer um <laughs> it's so messed up that we have like to force this on like little kids to confess their mm-hmm. sins which is like yeah, like for me, I did also was like I need to make stuff up because I need to, I need to confess. I make need to make it juicy. So I'm like, oh, I told my brother he's stupid, and I'm like, wow, <laughs> <laughs> the, the worst crime. Oh, dude, I don't, well, I don't remember weeks. what I said in confession. Yeah. I've confessed two times in my life, and I couldn't fucking tell you what I told the guy. <laughs> But my mom's just like, you have to do a confession again, otherwise you can't receive the... Com- I don't know how it's said in English. Uh, the thing about religion is, like, I practice it in Spanish, so I don't know what the English words are- of it are. <laughs> and I can't go to English service, because, service, like, y'all start talking in, ca- in, like, Latin. I don't understand that shit either. That's weird. I don't either. Yeah, I did mine oh, in Spanish, yeah. too. Funny thing about what Latin. What is it called? Um... Oh, continue. Oh, they sing or like they do like certain prayers in Latin with like English Catholics. Ew. But like in Spanish Catholicism, everything's just like in Spanish. But um, what is it called? It's that thing we literally did in like my living room as a joke when I, at my housewarming party. What's that called in English? Hmm. You know, la hostia yeah. and like the wine. Uh, what is that called in English? Oh. Uh. Dang. Getting lit. That that thing. I'm sorry. You did pa- communion wine? No, it's not called com. Is it's not you called communion wine? Look, there are our list. Our Catholic communion. listeners are literally just like you it's do. called this. You stupid. Do. They're like seizing when, when, when you, teeth. When you, 
Yeah. You don't even know the lore. You don't even know. <laughs> Fake Catholic. It's, it's the Catholic thing where you take the, it's, the it's wafer and the sacramental wine. Sacramental bread. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Sacramental bread? Yeah. Sacramento bread. Is that what it's called in English? Yeah, sometimes it's called alt- altar, altar bread. <laughs> yeah. Communion bread. The lamb. Or simply the host. Host. It's his body and blood. Gyros. That's all I know about it. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look. Yeah, it up. I looked up La Ostia. Sacramental bread. I just looked up yeah, La Ostia. Yeah, because in Spanish we call the wafer La Ostia. Yeah. Y el vino, which is the blood and which is the blood and flesh of Christ, symbolically. Uh, you know, because it's, it's fun it's fact. Like, actually, it's not supposed to be symbolic. Wait, what is it called? La Hostia? Or... Sacramental bread. Shit. There it is. At least I thought. Right? I feel like every, like, gotcha, haha, Catholicism sucks, actually. They always point out that Wait. it's supposed to, like, uh, uh, not be symbolic. I, I guess it's called transubstantin... What the fuck is this word? What? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna sound it out. Trans sub right. stan tiation transubtiation. The idea that during mass the bread and the wine used for communion become the blood the body and blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, the Eucharist. There we go. <laughs> That's the nicer word for it. You cry, Hello? I cry. We both cry. cry. You cry. cry. Sounds like a level for Devil May Cry. Yeah. (laughs) Probably is. Yeah, but anyway, where I was going with that is that my mom supposedly says that you can't take the Eucharist unless, like, you've done a confession recently. Otherwise, like, you're, like, dirty and sinny. But I'm just like... (laughs) You're like, I can't yeah, have snacks unless I confess. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just like, I don't think it fucking matters. Yeah. <laughs> unless you've, like, killed someone. And even then, the only person you're gonna be confessing to is the fucking detective dude. <laughs> <laughs> Are the demons? <laughs> he doesn't count. Fun fact, fun fact. If you confess murder to a priest, mm-hmm. under Catholic Church, they're not allowed to go to the police. But... That could have changed recently, but that was a whole thing inside the Catholic Church where it's like, oh, well, you're forgiven, and I can't, I can't tell anyone, because I took an oath. Dang. Yeah. Mm. Dang, it sounds like, it sounds like the Catholic Church is, like, really good at, like, taking things and, like, sweeping it under the rug, and, like, people <laughs> not getting justice. <laughs> hush, hush. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can't be no, that you one. gotta expose the church, dude. Expose the church. Yeah, it's no, not I great. Agree. Not great. <laughs> That's why we're escaping. <laughs> oh, I see. I yeah. see. I don't know. Just in case, sometimes I'm like, yeah. well, it is something that you grew up with, so I don't want to shit guilt. too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we're talking about how much it sucks. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> Man, Man, this shit that fucking first sucks. Shit. This shit's Pope ass. Francis, fuck out of heat. No, I'm just kidding. I actually kind of like Pope Francis. He's cool. Which one? Pope, <laughs> Pope Francis? Which one? There's like a million. I know, that's why Francis I said which one. Whatever. The newest one. The latest edition. Latest edition? Yeah, he's cool. The newest Pope just dropped. I don't, I don't keep dropped. track of that shit. Huh? <laughs> huh? Huh? I missed your good joke. Oh, the latest pope that just dropped. Yeah, that one. New yeah. pope just no. dropped. Yeah. <laughs> pope five. Yeah. Pope twenty. No, there's way more than twenty popes. The pope twenty. Oh, yeah. Pope twenty <laughs> twenty. Yeah, there's been like popes since like the fucking Middle Ages, right? And it's then, fucking like, crazy. They would have like control of like property and stuff. They were like actually like really powerful. Yeah. It's funny because you were talking about how uh, in English services they speak latin and i was like that's funny they're keeping the tradition of uh speaking a language that nobody understands uh so that no one can like double check them i think that was like a big thing uh like way back in the day that they would only do services in latin because like you you couldn't you couldn't question it because you don't know what the fuck you're listening to 
They're like, yeah, sure. Understandable. I should have gotten a weird Catholic boyfriend. I think that would have been fun. Oh, mm-mm. I did date a boy for a short nah. while that was Catholic. Nah. Nah, man. Nah, don't yeah, get a Catholic boyfriend. Yeah, he was, like, boyfriend. white Catholic, so it was, like, different, too. <laughs> mm. Like, Hispanic Catholic is cool because it comes with all the spooky shit attached, you know? <laughs> it comes with all, like, the <laughs> the switched-up uh, uh, witchcraft. Yeah, it comes with, like, all the fucking witchcraft attached, so that's cool, but, like... White Catholics are weird, dude. I don't know. Like, what do you mean you don't believe in witchcraft? You don't, like, light candles what do you and, mean? like, put your, your essence in it or whatever. What the fuck? What do you mean you don't take an egg and then rub it on your skin and it turns black and that's, like, the bad stuff that's in your body, dude? I was dude. gonna say that. <laughs> yeah, dude! What the fuck? What are Is you, crazy? You don't believe in that? <clears throat> your man heals you. Uh, so I was recently talking to yes. someone about, like, the difference between Hispanic Catholics and white Catholics. And they're like, yeah, white Catholics, like the church, that's really boring and stuff. You go to like a Hispanic one and they got the music going, you got the priest singing, <laughs> you got everyone being like, yeah, life's good, man. And I'm like, yeah, it all, it all depends on the church. Like I was lucky enough to go to a church that was like, yeah, we singing and they like <laughs> talked about more of like hey like just don't be a bad person and you're good drop the beat dj and it's like nah, 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 nah. <laughs> bro i talked nice. about this on gato's podcast the lonely corner please check it out gato fucking your your podcast you gotta how do you, what's that thing that they say you gotta promote it plug it bro I gotta plug it a non-existent thing that I haven't put out yet <laughs> yeah, dude. maybe by the time this episode's up you'll finally fucking edit it dude oh. yeah <laughs> editing is hard it's yeah. the last bits that are the most difficult apparently yeah, that's a uh, symptom got... of ADHD and I'm like oh shit yeah I feel you. maybe I got, I got really, it really really drunk. On Gato's podcast, uh-huh. and I don't know why, but we were talking about Catholicism, and I told her what the worst sermon I ever fucking heard was. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so the worst fucking sermon, sermon I ever fucking heard in my life was uh, this, this priest was, like, talking about how, like, hey, you know, beating your wife is really bad, guys. Uh, you wouldn't beat your wife in Je- if Jesus was watching you, right? So, like... <laughs> Um, instead of beating your wife, um, maybe just think that Jesus is in the room and then you won't beat your wife. <laughs> I was just like, Bruh. I think it's a lot deeper than that, well, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a, a lot more new and nuance to the problem of domestic violence <laughs> than just that, dude. Yeah, you gotta consider what she said, what was she doing? <laughs> <laughs> what was she wearing? What was she wearing? <laughs> Oh Did she, was he having a bad day? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, no. that was the worst sermon I ever fucking heard. <laughs> None of that. Like, if you're in an abusive relationship, uh, do this or that. It's just like, just try not. To just try not to. How about that? <laughs> just don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> don't you feel guilty? <laughs> what would Jesus say? It's like, man, he's beating another person. I don't think he cares. <laughs> he doesn't save me. Like when I, if I end up in heaven, I'm gonna find Jesus and be like, dude, let me talk to you for a second. You <laughs> what the fuck are you telling your followers, dude? Exactly. Like where were you to save me, dog? Five minutes. Body blows. Let's go. Come on, man. <laughs> Some of the sermons I fucking heard are wild, and it's just like, I don't go to church anymore, because it's like, what else does this guy have to say that he hasn't already said? Ah, oh, dude, imagine having to be, like, a priest and coming up with, like, new servants. I just recycle them. I just be like, no one fucking remembers Jeez. this one from last week. <laughs> Do you think, wait, don't, like, they talk about new stuff that's happening? They're like, okay, guys, so... We know the kids are on the phone, but if you would look back to Leviticus 12, 13, there's actually a passage about the phones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's this one really that told coming... us that, like, that, like, Gaga was devil music. <gasps> Lady Gaga was, like, devil How music, dare. and I was pissed. I was I'm heated. Pissed. <laughs> dude, yeah. I got replay no, dude, on replay the... all the time, always. Driving, <laughs> there's nothing else playing, just replay. 
That one that she did with Blackpink. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Exactly. No, nah, this is back shit. when um, Poker Face was popping out and everything. And oh. I went with my dad. And so this is like way back in the day. And then they were like, yeah, like this is the devil's music. He's promoting like this, this, and that, whatever. But like, I, I don't know. Like, I checked out. I was like heated. I was like, <laughs> fuck this guy. You're like, not my wow. queen. Exactly. You don't know what Literally you're talking not. about, dude. You don't. <laughs> Dang. Have you. Wait, is she still your queen? Do you still listen to her? Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Okay, Ask Chibi. <laughs> Boy, does she. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I, like, finally listened to Chromatica, and I'm like, oh, I'm so good. Pop it. Is yeah. she pops? It's I so terrorized good. with, um, with Gaga's music. <laughs> Had, like, the first month that she moved, oh, uh, her... Uh, the audience, uh, Gato is my roommate now, so I could just fucking bang on this wall. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> She's recording in the, the next room, but, uh, we live in the same house together. We're chilling, we're vibing. Nice. She gets to he- she gets to hear me like trauma dump about like Catholicism every other day. It's great. <laughs> and she's just like, "Are you still Catholic?" And I'm just like, "Well, I got the Virgin Mary in like the laundry room, so I guess I am." <laughs> yeah, dude. It's a little bit. It's hard to get rid of it, especially like if you grew up. It, it's like so tied to our culture that like even if we're not Catholic or we're not like religious at all, we still like like the imagery. Like I'd be having crosses, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, you're allowed, man. Yeah, I like them. It's part of my it's culture. Like you can't even tell me it's a religion. <laughs> yeah, man. It's like the sentimental value for me. Like, I mm-hmm. can't... It's kind of... I don't know. I would feel bad. <laughs> yeah. So, like, the big difference between Catholicism and other forms of Christianity is that we have these things called saints. And uh, saint culture? Fucking huge in Mexico and Hispanic <laughs> countries, guys. Yeah. It's been <clears> making like, new saints. <laughs> they got so many. <laughs> saint They're like our... They're our comfort characters, dude. <laughs> <We love them. laughs> Squishy. What Go were ahead. you saying? Oh, I was gonna say, if there's one for a specific thing that you need, there'll be a saint for it. <laughs> <laughs> there's a gamer saint. But he hasn't he hasn't been uh he he's not in the roster yet. Uh, he still needs to be something. It's the gamer saint. He's uh from Italy. Uh what he liked to do is like he would um he made a website where he documented like all the places where people would see sight- sightings of like the Virgin Mary or other saints, which is also like super common and like extremely important to like Catholic culture, like the sighting of like La Virgen de Guadalupe. So I guess that's like a thing in like Europe, which I didn't know. Uh, I'm hmm. trying to learn more about like Catholic history and like Europeans and how we like deal with saints and stuff because like I know how it is in Mexico. Because, like, I've gone to La Basilica de Guadalupe, and I've done pilgrimages around Mexico, visiting, like, the cathedrals. Like, I've had the privilege of, like, doing all that sort of stuff with my parents. But I really don't know how, like, other cultures celebrate Catholicism. And apparently, like, the seeing the Virgin Mary is just, like, a thing. Like, there's all kinds of towns in, like, France where they have, like, their own version of the Virgin Mary, which is just, like, in Mexico, where there's, like, different regions of Mexico that have, like, their own iteration of, like, the Virgin Mary. Uh, The most common being La Virgen de Guadalupe. And then, like, there's another one that's, like, pretty iconic because she's just, like, a little triangle. Have you guys seen her? Yeah. The Virgin Mary that's, like, a triangle. Yeah, I love her. What? And like they'll build like cathedrals in the in the places where like these uh how do you say these um oh my god I'm losing my words Yeah, where these sightings of like the Virgin Mary are and they usually come like with their own like superstitions or not supposed not superstition but like their own how do you say? Because with like the Virgin Mary, if you pray to the Virgin Mary uh, de Guadalupe and like she she helps you, you have to like um, you have to like crawl not crawl on your knees. You have to like uh, how do you, how do you say it in English? Oh my goodness! Mm. You have to like kneel and like walk all the way to the path where like her visage was. Her vis visage was. Am uh-huh. I making sense or am I speaking nonsense? No. You just walk towards her on your knees. 
yeah, that's a thing. You walk towards like where where she was sighted on your knees if like she grants one of your wishes. Oh, that's a thing. Ow. Yeah, I, th- I just thought that like yeah. after she I've, gave you I've the rose, them. like that that was it. You don't gotta do nothing else. No, I, I've seen people, like, on their knees, like, going towards the basil- basilica. Like, I've seen it. Like, people do that. Hmm. Mm-hmm. You could also see the Pope Mobile if you go to the, the Pope basilica. Mobile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, cool, the cool thing about uh, La Basilica is that all dogs are welcome there. So they have a huge Aww. dog... Um, population there Aww. where um they don't kick them out they're like allowed to be there so you can walk amongst them and the dogs are just chilling and they're just happy to have people around As, so it's like become this sort of sanctuary and when i was younger i remember mm-hmm. that i was like why are there so many dogs and it's like yeah they just like chilling here hmm. cute but it's also a giant tourist trap, though. I will admit to that. <laughs> the doggies be getting fed. <laughs> they are. I, don't, I didn't have the words for it when I was young, because I think when I went to the Basilica, I was like 13 or 14 years old. <sighs> but like right outside of like the, the church is like this giant marketplace where you could buy like all of the, all of the merchandise. And it's just like, it felt weird because it was just like, oh, like, these people are just, like, merchandising and, like, capitalizing on, like, this, like, very, like, important religious thing. But I didn't have the words for it in, like, high school, but it felt gross to me when I went there. And it was, like, a big tourist trap. Mm. Yeah. You gotta make money any way you can. And, Mm -hmm. I mean, these, these items, if you're willing to buy them, people are gonna be willing to sell them, so... I know they're just I mean, hardworking I mean, people trying to get that money, yeah. but yeah. I get it. I mean, like, I, I mean, like, I don't blame them. I'm, I'm, I'm currently in the market for like a big Virgin Mary statue that I could put in my front lawn, so <laughs> everyone has to know that I'm a Mexican homeowner. Oh my God. That's right, bitch. Have you seen that lady uh, who got that twelve foot skeleton statue and put it in her backyard? Yeah. That's you, but with Mm-mm. the Virgin Mary. <laughs> 12 foot virgin mary <laughs> 12 foot virgin mary <laughs> that's sick you should get that it's kind of sick actually <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> no one's gonna rob that house no one like, oh shit <laughs> this, this is under protection of the virgin mary we're protected <laughs> I see I see it a lot in my town, people that have like their, their big Virgin Mary statues and they build like a little birdhouse for her Aww. sort of thing. It's cute. I like it a lot. It's like a really big thing here uh, where I live. Yeah, it's definitely I've, cute. I've noticed that around where people like build a lot of altars in front of their yard and it's just they put mm-hmm. they put a lot of work on it and it's like that's so that's so cool. That's pretty. I love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the aesthetics of Catholicism are great. It's nice. Yeah, man, it's great. Like, buy uh, local folk art, because a lot of Mexican folk art has the imagery of the Virgin Mary. Yeah, any other thoughts on Catholicism? I feel it just comes down to, like, the church and how you use it. And it, it could be true with any religion. Like, stop using it as a guilt trip, because that just causes huge huge amount of guilt and trauma on people like there's been studies linked to um overly religious people developing either ocd or anxieties and i could totally see that because it becomes one of those like oh i'm a bad person if i don't do this or do that but like if you are religious it's more of like just be a good person and you know love what you love and don't shove it into people's lives if they don't want to hear it. And don't push it onto young children, because it's like, that messes them up. Like, if you want to take them to church, like, either don't yeah, or yeah, explain. Yeah, you baptize the babies, and then you can't do a confirmation until you're like 16 now. Mm-hmm. First confession, I feel like they should, they should change the rules on that. Yeah. Do it so that you're a little bit older to do it because like 
at like whatever elementary <clears throat> school like what do you really have to say to the t- <laughs> you just gotta make shit up yeah you, and should, then you're sinning it should be later in life you know when you have like a good backlog of like sins, sins. a good <laughs> backlog of sins yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like, oh, fuck, where do i start Bro. Yeah. Uh, Man, i feel like if you haven't like murdered anyone or like attacked them and hurt them in a very horrible way you're committed adultery i guess that's a big you're, one too you're good you're good <sighs> like yeah. i don't like you're not a bad person for you know taking that piece of candy <laughs> 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 or or like calling somebody stupid or like any of the sins man the majority of the like seven deadly sins not that deadly (laughs) it's like i feel the worst one would have to be like pride and wrath all others Mm. it's just you being like a person like sloth i'm just chilling gluttony (laughs) you know sleepy like I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's like just don't just don't be a dick and i mean you you look at churches they could be a community but once that community mm-hmm. starts you know harassing other people and sending them to hell <laughs> that's not good <laughs> like uh. go go be lit in church and you know mm. yeah it's not very cash money of you to right. send someone to hell. It's not very cash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For doing anime poses of all things. I, I think I it... Like... And, like, that's the thing. It's, like, indivi- it's not up to, like, individuals to decide that, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, the only person that's supposed to judge you is, uh... What is it? St. Patrick? Who is <laughs> Catholicism is the guy who is... Look, we have, Listen, like, a weird yeah. fucking canon in Catholicism. Isn't it, like... There's a specific saint <laughs> at the gates that, like, reads your Paul? fucking sin book. From, who is from, he? From what I gather from uh, some person's pickup truck's bumper, uh, only God can judge you. St. <laughs> Peter. <laughs> no, St. Peter uh, is does a call out post on you like when you get to heaven saint peter's just like mm, let me look through the receipts Dang. next time i see someone <laughs> with that i'm gonna be like actually it's saint peter that can judge you god's busy yeah. actually <laughs> actually <laughs> saint peter calls you out and like if he, if you if he cancels you go to hell <laughs> <laughs> and down that pole <laughs> yeah the fun thing about like catholicism is that like we have this thing called canon and non-canon which i know that like the fandom people have appropriated like (laughs) but like essentially the catholic church has like these little things that are like absolutely not in the bible and that they're just part of the culture and they're just accepted (laughs) yeah it's it's the fanon technically it's the fanon. It's like the, it's our, uh, how do you say our AUs? <laughs> so I OC, do not steal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just, there's like, there's a lot of whimsical things in Catholicism that makes it really fun. Like with the saints and stuff. Mm. St. Peter judging you and all that. <laughs> I don't know if like. I don't know if like Christians have that. Like, how do you? No, <laughs> it's literally. Not. How only do you Jesus. characterize going to hell? Yeah. <laughs> like, what do they tell you? It's basically uh, that. It's uh. basically the whole like God and Jesus will judge you. But like, the fun part, how you were saying about Catholicism, it's like, hey, all you gotta do is pray to this guy, and he'll be like, I'll let you pass. Like, you got this. It's one. very oh, easy. Yeah. We have uh, we have a level of bureaucracy with our saints. It's like you know, cause cause it's like we're very shy. We'll be we're like the we're like the homie at the party, where the saints like, hey God, he says he likes you. <laughs> <laughs> My friend says he likes you, <laughs> and he wants to know. But the thing, but the thing about like that, too? the thing about that <laughs> is you have to like do your research and be like, oh, this saint is gonna get me you know that promotion so hey 
can you tell, you know, J-Man if you can, you know, just get me that promotion? He's like, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Hmm. And that's cool because it also makes it a lot more like... By having, like, those other levels, it also makes it a bit more, like, how do you say, relatable and feels more achievable. Because if you straight, you, like, be playing a straight god, it's like, I don't know, man, that guy, I, I don't know. If, <laughs> He's like, I got a lot on my plate. Or anything. He's busy. <laughs> it's too much. Can't come to the phone right now. Can I take a message? <laughs> yeah, God can't come to the phone right now. We have to talk to his many, many receptionists. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you have to dial the, you have to dial the right department for it you gotta be like oh man i gotta look up the patron saint of struggles hey saint judas like can i get some of this <laughs> hold on there was the patron saint of thieves patron saint of thieves. no being christian is just like if you don't like truly believe that god is listening to you specifically it's just like Shouting into the Saint void. Saint Nicholas is the is the. <laughs> we did an episode on him. <laughs> saint Nicholas is the patron saint of sailors, merchants, archers, repentant thieves, prostitutes, children, brewers, pawnbrokers, and unmarried people. Damn, <laughs> he's here to party. That's my guy. We did a whole episode on. Please listen to it. Listen I did a lot of research on that. It was a lot of fun. Please listen to the one episode that doesn't have Hans Hansard on it, and <laughs> nobody listened to. I listened to it. You see, thank you. I've been there since day one. <laughs> see if you're a big enough fan, here. you can get on the podcast. <laughs> Let me search up Gamer Saint and if he's uh, if he's uh, made sainthood yet. I think Carlos Acutis. I think there's a huge like you have to do like three confirmed miracles by the church. Yeah, they're still looking for his three I don't confirmed know, man, miracles. That three sixty and... no scope. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I think they they got rid of it, but it used to be that your body had to be uncorrupt. But they decided that like that wasn't a very good way of determining sainthood. So they're trying to find his three like confirmed. Uh... His three confirmed miracles. Well, what do his... they mean by uncorrupt? Decomposing. So uncorrupt means it just your body doesn't rot at the same. Um... And there's like very specific. Let me, let me look it up. It's weird. Look, I didn't do any research for this episode. Put him in if you guys want to learn about uncorrupt bodies, we could do well, it. Well, um, his body was uncorrupt. Yeah? They, yeah? Um, yeah, he... Poor guy died of um, cancer. And they mm -hmm. recently checked on his body. And yeah, he, he looked like he was just asleep. And it's been, I want to say, 10 years. Yeah, it's uh, bodies that undergo little or no decomp decomposition or delayed decomposition. What the fuck? Yeah. That's kind of cool. So is my boy Carlos a saint yet? I think he is getting there. I think they're just yeah. looking for one more miracle. So get it while it's hot. Yeah, because like, that was like <laughs> last year when they were like trying to finalize a sainthood. And it's already, like, 2021. Maybe the pandemic has been, like, delaying sainthood for my boy Harlow. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we'll see how oh. that goes for him. So, everyone in the comments, please root for Carlo. Uh, we hope he gets his sainthood <laughs> soon. <laughs> Damn. I think his game of choice was Minecraft. He was a big Aww. Minecraft player. How cute. Yeah, I recently started playing Minecraft for this kid that I babysit with. He wanted to play with me, and I was just like, it's okay. I'm a little bit slow, though, so be patient Minecraft with me. Minecraft is fun. Yeah. Yeah. I've never played, like, the act like the game game part of it. I only, like, ever do creative mode with my friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the best way to play. It is. Let's make a little house. We just make houses and, and, and tether bees to the house. Yeah, with the the kid I babysit, he'll try to like recreate levels that he sees in video games, oh. like Five Nights at Freddy's, oh. and like he's really good at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Legos, but on the computer. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was trying to recreate Bendy in the Ink Machine. I've been oh, trying no. to play it. I like it a lot. It really? feels like Silent Hill, <laughs> which is what I kept saying <laughs> oh, no. when I was playing it with them. It was like, bro, this is just like Silent Hill. I was like, what's Silent Hill? All those kid horror games are really funny. I love them. I genuinely like ink- Bendy in the in the Ink Machine. I think it's really fun. Mm. I feel like it's a little... It reminds me a lot of, like, shit uh, kids would... Or emo kids would draw. I love shit emo kids draw. Oh, I guess. <laughs> like Invader oh, yeah, Zim. I do love shit emo kids draw. <laughs> we did a whole episode about how much I hated that shit. <laughs> MySpace <laughs> already. Yeah. That was, was our it? shit. <laughs> yeah. The Jonan guy, what's his name? Joan Vasquez. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't handle it. That was, that was 90s. My mind was too big. I'm sure he's calmed down. <laughs> <laughs> he's chilled okay. out a bit. He's gay now? I don't know. I just follow him on Twitter. I thought that's I what, what, I thought to. That's what Squishy said. What? I thought you said that he was gay. No, someone oh. said something else after I talked. He said, I talked. He said I got excited. he's okay. She said, oh, he's okay. Yeah, okay. okay. Oh, and back to our boy Carlos. He's one step closer to sainthood, so all he needs is for Pope Francis to, to give the okay. But um, yeah, COVID has definitely Dang. stopped a lot of that. And um, poor guy, Pope Francis is... Not doing too well with his health recently. Oh no. Um, You know, supposedly in the Vatican, there's like a room that's full of like forbidden art that's like all (laughs) smut. Let's get in. I need to get get in. in. (laughs) Furry art. Let's get in the smut room. (laughs) For research purposes. I have a similar room in my house. This is the hentai room. <laughs> you walk. <laughs> we, we need to go into the hentai room. You walk in, and there's a giant scroll of like Sonico with like, <laughs> big boobs and stuff. Sonic. Oh my god. Oh no, Sonico. It's that pink haired oh. girl. I was trying. I was, oh, okay. I was gonna say Hatsune Miku, but like, it's like she's Sonic holy. Smut. Like Hats- oh, she's, cool. she's holy. Hatsune Miku is also applying for Satan, hey, it seems. Let's uh I would hire her in a heartbeat. Let's petition. <laughs> we need her, our queen. Yeah, let's petition queen. for Hatsune Miku to get Satan. Right. <laughs> She'll be the patron sa- saint of, of v- computers. Of VTubers. There you yeah. go. Wait, there is a patron set of computers though. Really? Hold oh on. my god. There's a patron saint for everything now. That's crazy. Google. Even the sinful things? Yeah. <gasps> yeah. They're strippers. Saint Nick was like the Saint Temperate of Saint Saint Saint, Saint, Saint Peter Saint not <gasps> Saint <laughs> Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Saint Nicholas is the patron saint of like thieves and prostitutes and unmarried couples. I see. What about strippers? I mean there's the paint the the saint for like narcos and criminals. Jesus. Yeah, there is. Yeah. I want the saint. Uh, you for... see him a lot. Yeah. Oh, the Santa He's the one that's like sitting down. No. He's like the one that's sitting down on like the chair with like the bag of money yeah. and like uh, something else. Uh, I know that's him. funny. Yeah. Malverde is his name. I want the saint for, for people who sling dildos. <laughs> for a sec. <laughs> Maybe that's also Saint Nicholas. Maybe. And didn't, remember we found out that like there's a piece of him in LA somewhere. Oh, in snap. one of the churches there. That's why we're so Yeah, remember? Fun. We're gonna go. We almost did it. Can't and we chill there. But, Come yeah. to LA. Do it. Well Anyways, not right now. Saint Saint, saint Isidore <laughs> of Seville <laughs> is the patron saint of computers. <laughs> saint Microsoft. Yeah. Saint Microchip. What's the patron saint of witches? Th- I feel like that doesn't exist. <laughs> I feel like that's an oxymoron. Colombia of Spain? Really? Oh my god, we got a saint. He was a virgin and nun who was born in 
Coroba, Spain, and March Martyr. I can't fucking martyred? say this word. It's like martyred around 856 by the Muslim rulers in Spain during the persecution of Christian. She's part of the whatever venerating. I don't know. It's, it's, that's what popped up when I put patron saint of witches. I guess because she was burned at the stake. Ah. There's also the patron saint of homosexuality. Hey. Yeah. yeah. The alphabet gang. At? Yeah. His alphabet gang. gang. Mafia. Where you at? <laughs> First gay icon is Saint Sebastian. Oh. Legendary. King. Oh. Um. We stand. Legendary, legendary house of Catholicism. King James is also a famous gay, you know, <laughs> of the King James Bible. Yeah, that one. Uh, <laughs> big gay. They, they, That's why you uh, wanted to big gay. Also, divorce. I don't know. I, we forgot. I forgot to mention this. When we were talking about um, confessions. But after you do a confession, you have to, like, do something. And they'll be like, oh, it was three Virgin Marys and, like, five whatevers. <laughs> Uh, three, you know, the prayers, which I've already forgot. I don't know the prayers. I mean, even if I do, they're in Spanish, so you guys wouldn't understand yeah, them. Yeah, el credo. But, like, for uh, King James, for being, like, big gay, the Pope was just like, you have to you have to commission a new translation of the Bible, and then you'll be forgiven, I guess. So, we got the King James Bible, guys! You just do something for I us guess. real quick. Yes! <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Yo, it's really a... funny that you have to it's, that it sounds like it costs something it's like oh no I can't do that it's gonna cost me like three Hail Marys I don't yeah. wanna do that <laughs> <laughs> it's like I don't remember that prayer I have to look it up they've changed the prayers by the way oh, Damn. I've gone to church recently and they changed the prayers I'm just like just you can't change do that prayers. you can't do that shit when did they Wait, change the did I go to Sunday <laughs> school for new prayer just dropped Oh. <laughs> There's a patron saint of tummy aches. Oh. Oh. But you're being really strong about it. <laughs> There's a patron saint for breastfeeding. Oh. Patron saint for blood banks. Uh-huh. Nice. Patron saint for difficulties in marriage. Oh. Wow. Yeah, it's patron saint one. for murderers. Wow! Yeah. yeah, there's a there's a lot of departments. Lot. <laughs> it's very organized. Yeah. Patron saint no, I... of ice skaters. <laughs> Drop the list of them. Yeah, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, if it's out there, there's probably like a saint for it. Yeah, that's true. Do you think they transfer you to other saints if you pray to the wrong one? <laughs> I think they they do. It's one of those like. I, I heard it's like you, you you pick your saint, you pray to them and then that saint's like hey, I'll see if it's available but if not, <laughs> it goes to like Gabriel or Michael <laughs> Put you on hold Yeah, they're like, hey um, oh, and This actually list. has to go to this one's gotta, gotta go to uh, uh, I don't, uh, fuck, what's the name? This one's gotta go to Peter in accounting <laughs> it's, it's kind of Line weird, one. but it reminds me of um, picking out. Uh, oh my gosh! If N- Nikita was here, she would say like a uh, picking a oh, rock. No, in, in rock. witchcraft. Yeah. You oh pick yeah. A special. Oh yeah, yeah. You like pick. Sp- oh, I guess I see what you're saying. You you pick a like a, a god. Hey, that's but... actually a connection to right Catholicism and mm. witchcraft because I know, like, when you do your a confirmation, deity. yeah, your confirmation or your first communion, you have to pick like a saint as well. Mm-hmm. You get so, saint. yeah, you so get that was that's what it was reminding me of. It was just like, oh, I think I must have just picked. The Virgin Mary, because she's the girl. (laughs) (laughs) You you gotta pick your girl, you know. Be like that that one right there, the pretty one, the one that's that one, that one, the one that has her own show. There's this there's this blog on Tumblr called 
uh, I thank the Virgin, <laughs> and it's a bunch of people saying, like, I thank St. Jude who gave me the courage to come out of the closet. Uh, read one well, story. Let me, let me pick out some great ones. <laughs> Good for them. See, it goes back to the comfort character. Like, mm, you know, <laughs> when you... my kin. Oh, yeah, when you take I out... The Virgin Hold on. Mary. <laughs> take this one. All right, story time. <laughs> I was left without a job and I couldn't pay my rent. Then I got the, then I got an idea to put on sexy clothes on and flirt with my landlord <laughs> to make him forgive me the payment. It didn't count. However, that he would be with his it didn't count, however, that he would be with his wife that day. When he saw when she saw me, she went furious. I thank the holy holy lord of Chalma because the landlord managed to calm his wife and they didn't kick me. After this, I promise not to have such ideas anymore. <laughs> oh. She had the right idea, oh, but the execution one. was not done very well. Yeah. My husband was always snoring, especially after romantic pleasures. One day I prayed to Virgin Mary, and my husband left me for another <laughs> woman. My life has become much calmer, and I'm infinitely thankful for that. <laughs> you know what? Good for her. Right? Yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. He's a snorer and a cheater. Like, girl, dodged a bullet Bye. there. Bye. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like this one. I decided to put offerings for my late wife on Day of the Dead and prepared her favorite dishes. On that night, I heard someone calling me. When I came to the kitchen, I saw that it was my wife telling me off because the food was too salty. <laughs> I thank God for it was the o I thank God for it was only one time that night when I saw my grumpy wife again because she was unbearable in real life. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, guys, <laughs> follow I Thank the Virgin on uh, Tumblr. It has, like, <laughs> paintings, like, very folk art paintings. Uh, I don't know where it is that they got this. Puebla, 1917? These, some of these are, like, really old. As in, like, the paintings and the confessions are, like, very old. But they all come, like, with a piece of folk art and, like, the description in Spanish and translated in English. <laughs> nice. Man, people's always been people. Yeah. I wonder who the pa <laughs> Can I become the patron saint of podcasts? Can I do it? Let's call some fucking miracles, baby. I only need three. I can do that. Hey, you gotta die first. It's ain't cheap. Oh, I gotta die first? <laughs> oh. oh, count me in. <laughs> count me in. Shit. Oh, I, I should Shit. die for Jesus. <sighs> ooh, ooh. Sorry to say so, it. Uh, one of our audience members is like keeping track of like the sins. It's like you gotta confess this next time. <laughs> oh, sorry Episode to... 38 where we confess. Sorry to burst your bubble. Sorry to burst your bubble, but St. George Preka is, you know, in the running for the patron saint of podcast. No! <gasps> what? Oh. What? Hey. Die. Damn. You gotta die and make. You gotta talk die. About you gotta die faster. Come on. So much on my palm. We gotta get going. We gotta get this ball rolling. Hold on, I'm like furiously typing. Saint <laughs> George Perka, unofficial patron saint of podcasts. Dang. Well, now we know who to pray to to get this <laughs> to get this famous. <laughs> I'm tired of working. I want to be famous. Oh, that looks like fun. The patron saint of suicide. Jesus! Oh no! Is, uh, no. Oh, no. It's Alex Dolan. <laughs> Go oh, back. Wait, is that the name? Is that the name of the podcast? Hold on. Oh, I think that's the name of the podcast. Is patron saint of suicide? What? I think he's there to stop. Uh, oh, you. I think this is this is uh, one of those podcasts that's like an ongoing story. Mm. Mm. Is there a saint for like marijuana? Yeah, there is. Weed Saint? Weed yeah. Saint. Weed Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 no, it's it's Saint. Saint. oh I, I see a picture actually. of the Virgin Mary with a bunch of weed on her. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Saint. <laughs> what is it, Evie? It's Saint Ingros. Ingros. Yeah. Yeah, oh, Pain yeah Patron Saint of Cannabis Smoking. 
an old Celtic nice. saint. He was, he was, he's also the patron saint of forgiveness, so you know. Hey. Hey. Hold on. That's I'm nice. So lovely. Oh, forgetfulness, not forgiveness. It's forgetfulness. Oh, no. oh forgetfulness. Perfect. <laughs> I forget things all the time, dude. Got to know, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> There's a patron saint of bananas. Nice. What? Bananas are deadly game, dude. Potassium uh, saint. The trade of the banana trade is not the most. Uh, how do you say humane? Ethical. No. Yeah, most of these fruits. A of, there's a lot of problems. Dude. Most of these uh, berry type fruits, pineapples, bananas. I needed a banana today for my cereal. Disgusting. Never oh. eaten a banana in my life. Well, that's your thing. But oh, I, yeah, I genuinely one. don't like bananas. <laughs> ladies, you don't like bananas? ladies. No. Ever since I was like a little baby, my mom tried to give it to me and I went, wait, 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 wait. Spit. <laughs> Spit it out because it's nasty. More I was like, for us. <laughs> it's gross. I was like forced to eat a, not forced, but like uh, recently <laughs> Going up I to got. Your head. <laughs> You want to no. be that no, podcast no, it master? <laughs> no, it, it was a pocket, banana man. to the head. <laughs> oh like yeah, a gun. held like a gun. Oh. Okay, it was like a fucking like a t- t- ten dollar smoothie bowl because I live in LA and I was like, please don't put bananas in it. And they were like, okay. And then they put extra bananas in it. There's like two bananas. And like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> and I was like, okay. Gay. And I was like, well, I guess I gotta eat it because I paid ten dollars for this fucking smoothie. Oh. Oh. Nasty, but everything else is good. About that, dude. That's There's how I be with avocados. You don't like avocados. You don't like avocados. I hate it. I don't like it. <sighs> Fucking fake Mexican. <laughs> this bitch. <laughs> Shut the fuck For up. Christmas, an avocado. An avocado. <laughs> Start picking your saint and pray for it. <laughs> What's the patron saint of cringe? Oh, there's a. Can I? Is that is that is that still open? The Can I still make it? Wait. The <laughs> Joker. Oh, dude. At home, I keep forgetting like what the new Joker movie is called. I think it's just called the Joker. But every time I refer to him, I'm just like you know San Joaquin of uh, Joker. As it should be. <laughs> there's a. He's the patron saint oh, of gamers, dude. Oh no. What? There's a patron saint of cringe. Oh no! Yes. So it's just a... of embarrassment. Yeah, patron saint of cringe is Andrew. Some guy named Andrew. Andrew, cringe. Point and laugh at Andrew. I'm gonna let him know. <laughs> <laughs> you said Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Just some guy named Andrew. <laughs> it's really funny, y'all. I'm living with the patron saint of cringe. <laughs> Yo, so check out his story. So, according to the biblical legend, um, he was sentenced to death by crucifixion. Andrew oh, the no. Apostle supposedly didn't feel worthy enough to be crucified the same in the same type of cross as Jesus Christ. So he was put on an X shaped cross instead. Oh, now, oh my god. Now X-shaped? he has been yeah, he's selected as satire now. Well and we sell a lot of X shaped crosses at the store. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so <laughs> that's a media or something. Andrew yeah. I don't know what oh, that is. Oh, it's a BDSM S? thing. You'll be surprised how much a medieval torture has turned into BDSM. Yes. It's like all of it. <laughs> There's oh, a... is there a patron saint of oh, BDSM? Go, go. <gasps> tell me. Tell me. <laughs> Do tell. Do it's tell. Vincent de Paul. Vincent de Paul. He's got two first names. <laughs> Yeah, Vincent de Paul, who dedica- dedicated himself to the poor. Oh, oh, well, for him. Yeah. Oh, he's <laughs> and he's the pre- patron saint of BDSM. Yeah, poverty, chastity, obedience, <laughs> and stability. He was a clergyman, <laughs> what? and 
Oh man, his photo is him just like smiling. They're Aww. like, he knows what's up. Oh man, that's sick. Yes, look at the, the weed virgin that's Mary. That's sick. Where's, wait, where's ours? Oh, and there's a, a patron saint of goths. Yeah! It's <laughs> the goth patron saint. It is... Man, you guys get all the cool saints, the European Sabus, <laughs> Sabus the Goth. Sabus the Goth. Very cool. Can I tell you about something funny? Yeah. That was. Yes. That's, that's now in this a torture device that's now a BDSM toy. Yeah. There's a thing called, uh, I think it's called like the pair of anguish or like agony. It's like a little pear shaped thing. That has a mechanism at the end that like spreads it open. So they would like put it in people's mouths and like their orifices as well and like open it so like it'll rip their 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 orifices. Uh, now that's a butt plug. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm waiting for um It's funny. The Iron Maiden to be turned into one. <laughs> Where instead of this you just put a bunch of little dildos. Yes, in there. that's what I was <laughs> just gonna say. <laughs> Actually, BDSM seems like a pretty Catholic thing. It, I think it is. Most of the people that yeah, come in getting stuff are like, like Latino men and women. Yeah, because it's just like you're supposed to like feel bad about <laughs> things that feel good. So <laughs> <laughs> BDSM is pretty Catholic. You're whipped. fucking right, dude. Because it, yeah, it, becomes, it becomes one of those like, I need to be punished for this. And it's like. Oh, punish me, daddy. And they're Dang. like, ma'am, this is a church. <laughs> punish me, sky daddy. Well, well, wasn't it like, like, oh, you gotta, like, do the self whip? I don't know what the name is. Oh, the flagulation. Yeah, so it was like, I knew. <laughs> in the industry. Industry expert. Yeah. Over here. Yes. So it's one of I those. I gotta things. research a lot. Yeah, where it's like I need I need to be punished, so I feel the needing to be punished. Cause I mean, a lot of religious guilt is like, hey, you thinking about sex, you whore? Well, don't, <laughs> don't. don't. And sure it's not. like I I need to be punished, but then you punish and you're like, but this is good. Oh no, I need to be punished more, and it's an endless <laughs> cycle. Jeez, nasty. We've all been there. You nasties. I'm a clean Christian woman. It's okay. I, I was really fucking weird about sex for a while. Yeah. Too. I'm fine now, We though. continue to be weird I'm, about I'm sex. I'm like super vanilla, but I'm fine now. I don't know, man. <laughs> okay. Some of the conversation on, like... the, on the yaoi gals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we had a recent conversation about how it was like... I was, like, sex repulse for a while, because I thought, like, all men were, like, inherently violent when it came to that, but I, I, I got over it. <laughs> men are nice, it turns Sometimes. out. Sometimes. I'm having the they opposite effect working at my Turns out job. they don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but, like, the thing, the discussion we've had many a times while you're drunk is that you always see men at their fucking True. worst. <laughs> Just horny and desperate. Ugh. And drunk, <laughs> usually. And drunk, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> I hate my job now. Oh my god, I can't believe Thadi is closer to becoming a saint than what? me. <laughs> <laughs> the saint of, like, saint, desperate horny men. Saint no. <laughs> no. She died for now my sins. Now you just have to have... Bro, now you just Pitching need saint of three miracles... Uh, to die and have an uncorrupt body, thought of. you're like halfway it's there. It's a miracle. Dude. I'm still sane. <laughs> and with all the oh man, with all the 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 preserved chicken I eat, my body ain't decomposing. Not never. <laughs> chicken nuggets. It's chicken nuggets. <laughs> Wheezing. <laughs> HelloFresh going to sponsor us so he could stop eating chicken nuggets. <laughs> oh man. Help me, I'm I dying. really like HelloFresh, actually. 
I've never oh, tried Oh, I got it. a free trial and it was great. I learned that sour cream is very good and putting salt and pepper on like any vegetable and roasting it makes it ten times better. Oh, hell yeah. I love broccoli. Mm. I love putting my salt and pepper hell on yeah. Do you put, wait, you put the broccoli in the air fryer? So I've put done it once, but it burnt and it came out like, and like, there was like the tree part was all burnt, but I mean, I still fucking Oh yeah, that's it. how we like it. Yeah. It's good. A little crispy. Burnt? Everything. Well, yeah. <laughs> I know. A little crispy. <laughs> the tree part. <laughs> she said burnt, that's why. <laughs> so I was looking chicken. for the patron saint of chicken nuggets, Chickens. but there's a patron saint of chickens, and I found nice. this awesome photo of oh. a chicken praying. Like a real nice. life chicken with a photo of the patron saint of chickens in its cube. That's great. Hey, Thank you. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> See, like, oh, Catholicism. That's cute. Those of you who have, who've had the opportunity to like go back to the place where your parents grew up, do you guys know what the patron saint of your parents' town was? Mm-mm. Yes. Yeah, for me it was uh, San Miguel, which is Saint Michael, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, San Miguel is like the angel that's like that's like has their sword and like they have like either a dragon or a demon under their foot. That's him. That's the patron saint of like the town that my parents are from. Nice. Do you remember what it was for yours? Mm. I just looked it up right now. Uh, assuming that the place on my mom's birth certificate is her hometown, uh, it's the Saint James the Greater. Oh, what he do? I don't know. Let me see. Patron, he's just the patron saint of Spain and Guatemala, apparently. Never mind. That's cool. Uh, for my family, it was is Saint Fernando. He, um, he's chill. We've been recording for like an hour and a half already. You think you guys wanted to cut it off, or do you have more thoughts? No thoughts. No thoughts. No thoughts. No thoughts. No thoughts. Head empty. <laughs> Only After sweaty. The ch- after the chicken saint, you know, like I could, I could sleep happy. Right, yeah, it's a beautiful <laughs> it's picture. It's very cute. I love chickens, dude. It's They're good, good critters. They're very I've... cute. Yeah, They're beautiful. They're delicious. No, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I love to eat them too. <laughs> They're so good. But wow, also, look sin. at you. Look him go, hanging mm-hmm. out. Make egg. egg. Use mm. egg. Eat Use egg. egg to cleanse egg. the sin. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. And then eat. Chicken. Apparently, like my my great grandpa was a witch doctor. Dang. It's something that my mom's told me. Hmm. So that's fun. That's a fun thing. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes when, you know, not feeling too great, I'm just like, Thea, can you do the egg thing? And she's like, say no more. <laughs> Say less, egg. fam. Egg. Yeah. Do you eat the egg afterwards, or is that like a no-no? No, no. I feel like you... that would be a no-no. Okay, <laughs> you're like it goes yeah. back in. <laughs> yeah, it's, back in it's a cycle. <laughs> it's a cycle. Like you got the bad vibes. It's like get the vibes out, and then you're like, yeah. gonna eat your egg. It's like I don't know. The vibes are back in. I thought maybe because <laughs> cool. I was like, what a waste of an egg. Do you feed it to the chicken? No, because then the chickens get your bad vibes. <laughs> you see the chicken in your room playing video games with little glasses and hair. <laughs> you want this egg? For, those of you, for the audience, if you don't know what we're talking about, there's this thing in like Hispanic witchcraft where you get an egg and you rub it on like your body or where it hurts. And gradually the egg turns black, and that's supposedly like all the evil energy that's inside you. We've all been there. Yeah. I haven't. I've never seen it because I'm too scared of witchcraft. But I've, <laughs> I've heard of it. I've never seen it yeah. turn black. Yeah, it doesn't really necessarily turn black. It just it it supposedly just does stuff within the water that it's in. Once you crack it, it in there, ah, it and there's cooks. like a message. <laughs> yeah, no, there's a message. Like it cooks, and then like because of the strands of the white of the egg, it sometimes forms like 
faces or like skulls in it, you're like, that's that. There it is. That's there the it bad is. vibes. <laughs> There's the that's bad, bad vibes. Got them out. Yeah. You just Wait, throw so it away. So that they're like tea leaves or our coffee grounds, because I know that's also a thing. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of like that. Yeah, because I, I had my coffee grinds read by one of my one of my uh, witchcraft friends. Nice. That was fun. I think that was the second or third episode. It was. So, yeah, I don't <laughs> even know how, what ep- what episodes I've recorded, you guys. We've done a lot. It kind of surprises me sometimes. Mm-hmm. Just like we're still doing. I'm this like, shit? what the fuck? Dang. <laughs> the real podcast. <laughs> it's like, Since we when? have a podcast, wait. I... <laughs> Yeah, man, now I just, <laughs> the iPad that I bought so I can do the drawings while I watch TV is now just a place where I play The Sims. <laughs> nice. nice. When are you going to finish that art? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I forget about it, and then I'm reminded, and I'm like, oh yeah, I should do it, and then I don't do it. And it's a cycle. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much me. <laughs> uh, whenever... Whenever we first went on hiatus, it's like, oh, I'll start the podcast up next week. And I never fucking do. Mm-hmm. So I hope you guys enjoy uh, the podcast so far. <laughs> uh, hopefully we don't go on hiatus again for a while. <laughs> a little happier. <laughs> Anyways, if you, if, you, if you enjoy this podcast, uh, follow us on Instagram at Han... 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 <laughs> Look, I'm foreign. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing a fucking podcast. I can't speak English or Spanish correctly. It's like I we speak Kelly Tubby. <laughs> That's how I am. That's like the first language I spoke. That's what my mom told me. I spoke Kelly Tubby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, if you enjoy us and our art, uh, you can follow us on Instagram on haunts underscore r underscore us. I think we have a Tumblr also, haunts dash r dash us. Uh, maybe we'll get a TikTok going. Uh, we're working on oh, that. I'd love to get a TikTok going. Uh, please, uh, audience, uh, in the comments below, tell us what your sins are that you told the priest when you were five years old. <laughs> <laughs> if you remember, did you cry? Are you a crybaby? Cry, little baby, little bitch. Get it, your Oh no! Get it, your dad. Get it, your dad. Get it, your dad. Get it, your dad. Get it, Patron uh, saint oh. of crybabies is Saint <laughs> Philomena. Ooh. Oh, he cries when he when he gets when he makes an argument. I love him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he sees my comfort character now. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> When you got a big test coming, yeah, just and- put them there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, uh, listen to our sibling podcast, uh, Morning Drew and the Lonely Corner. Uh, we're, for- we're definitely gonna do Lonely Corner, right, Gato? Like, we're, you're 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 gonna do that, right? Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna edit that episode. Yeah. You're gonna make that art. Yeah. Right? Remember the art? Remember when like you. <laughs> I gave you my drawing tablet and you're just like, drawing art is easy! <laughs> and then I was crying. It's so hard. I can't draw. <laughs> it's literally I so hard. When you were, I was crying when in you were just room. like, I don't understand why you guys take so fucking long to draw. And then you draw, and then you drew your own thumbnail and you're just like, <gasps> <laughs> out of breath, dying. It's stressful. I was crying. <laughs> yeah. It never looks right. At least you don't have to record yourself. It's even worse when you record yourself. You're all stressed. <laughs> yeah. I'm hyperventilating on the mic. It'd <laughs> <laughs> be like that. Yeah. yeah that's, that's it for today's episode. Uh, join us for our next episode, which is Undetermined. Undetermined. <laughs> Just edit that part out. I don't know what the next episode is. Let's not, let's not keep that any promise. Nah. Just do Hatsune Miku's right. voice over it when we finally figured out what it's gonna be. <laughs> In the next hot sorrow. Next episode is Shits and Giggles. <laughs> what if it's just Hatsune Miku and the impact she's had in everyone's life? <laughs> <laughs>
again. 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 Like I'll, we already did a Han. I know. Uh, I'll talk about Hatsune Miku again. I have a new appreciation for her. Right. Same. I like her. She's great. Anyway, sign her petition to make uh, Hatsune Miku a saint. She can't die, so you know. She'll never decompose. Yeah. So like, she's already half. She's already halfway there. <laughs> she's a miracle of technology. <laughs> yeah, dude. Have you guys heard that? Uh, Bro, we're ending the episode. <laughs> <laughs> End it so I can tell you. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Thanks for listening to Hot Saw Us, the podcast that talked it on Maine. Oh, uh, wait, what, what's the thing I said at the end? And now you're haunted on me. I don't fucking remember. We'll figure it out. Good night. Bye. 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 <laughs>